Hi everyone, welcome back to my Cook at Home series with Tonya here at Cooking on the Bay. Today we're going to be cooking a ratatouille. A ratatouille is a lovely Provencal dish and um, so it's got all the lovely ingredients from Provence. Ratatouille actually means have to be all jumbled up and all the, the vegetables are jumbled up in the pan or the pot. I sometimes make it in a pot. So if you hear someone say, Gale ratatouille, that means what a miss <laughs> they're in. So it's a lovely French expression. So we're going to start with the onions. We've just roughly chopped them, as you can see. They're not, they're reasonably sized, reasonable sized pieces. And I, as always, put them in a pan with cold oil. We're not adding butter because we're doing Provencal today, okay? So in Provence they use oil instead of um, a butter. The northerners in France tend to use more butter. Uh, however, if you want to add butter for extra flavour, you certainly can do that. So we're going to cook the onions down as we normally do for about 10 minutes. While the onions are cooking down, we're going to be adding um, uh, eggplant. I've got this oil getting hot here. Um, we're just going to pan fry the eggplant just to give it a bit of colour. Okay. Now I have, but we actually often used to make this on our barge over in France because we had a little tiny kitchen, and these vegetables are always long-lasting vegetables. So we always had onions on hand. There were always fresh tomatoes, obviously capsicums, zucchini, and eggplant. But good long-lasting vegetables, and they didn't wilt, and they could store very well in our fridge or in the pantry. Um, and we would often throw them all in together. Now, I prefer not doing them all in together. I prefer doing them separately. But if you are in a hurry and you don't mind that, that's perfectly fine. You just probably don't get the same intense flavour. But for my ratatouille, we've got, as I said, the onion. We've got just one eggplant. Now, when you're buying an eggplant, I just cut this before I started today but you want it so, can you see that Michael you want it so that it's lovely and fresh inside you don't want any old brown seeds and um, you can see how quickly it does brown off but this was just two seconds ago but you can see there's definitely no no seeds in there it's just all nicely fresh and it's got a lovely shiny skin and I also like to buy them when they're not so big about the small you know about this big about that big I don't like the big ones because they get too woody so we'll just see yeah, a bit of sizzle going in there, which is nice. Just get it a bit more sizzly. Um, the zucchini, as you can see, is roughly chopped. Very roughly chopped. Um, the same with the capsicum. Now, with the capsicum, um, as you would remember from other classes where I've done the piperade, which is the capsicum stew, we remove all the membranes from inside the capsicum and the seeds. We don't want the seeds in here. I don't mind a few odd stray seeds, but we don't want any of the white membranes. So I very carefully make sure that that's not there. It's the, it's 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 not necessary. It's a bit bitter, and um, and it's the whiteness of it we don't want. Okay, so I'll just put a few. Of, oops, oh, I'll just put a few of these in my pan to get a little bit of brown colour going. Now eggplant. Put them in. Just get it a bit hotter than that. Um, and then we've just got about three or four roughly chopped tomatoes. I don't know, mind whether they're Roma or whether they're whether they're um, uh, uh, round tomatoes, trussed tomatoes. Oh, cut that so well. um, it doesn't really matter. I've got a can of tomato, um, a can of tomatoes here, and I sometimes do add that um, depending on how the tomatoes are and what time of the season it is. Now because we are in, in, in the, less, it's not the perfect tomato season at the moment, so I thought we may want to add some tomatoes. I'm just going to put this, pop that pan on and I'm going to put this one back on. Nice and, sorry, just turn that down and turn that down too when this one will be um, I don't want my tomatoes and my onions getting too brown there. I just want them to be nice and sauteed. So just wanting to see that nice bit of colour on the eggplant there. That's what I'm looking for. Just a nice little golden brown to bring out the flavour just like that. We'll get a little bit more as they all 
cook a bit. Now, some people like to have their ratatouille a bit crunchier. Um, so you can do that. You just don't cook the vegetables for quite so long and you don't simmer it in the pot for quite so long. I actually like mine soft. Um, but it's a very easy thing to, to suit yourself with. And at the last minute I'm going to tear up... Oh, I've got some garlic which I'll be putting in uh, towards the end of the whole cooking process so that it doesn't burn. And, uh, and then I'll just tear up a little bit of basil and we've got some oregano, dried oregano, fresh or dried oregano is nice to stir through it too. So once we've cooked all of our vegetables, we will pop it into a, um, one of these dishes or a bigger pot if I need to, and we will just cook it for about 15 minutes until they're done to my liking, and then we'll be doing the, the, adding the salt and the, the seasoning, the pepper, um, and you may want to tweak it with a bit more oregano if you like. Um, but we won't be doing that till the very end, so as you please. So, we'll just push this for a couple of sets. Some of them are browning quite nicely. My Hurry. Throwing them all in the pot will work, but I think when you're cooking, you really want to get the best flavour you can out of your food, and otherwise, I think it's a bit of a waste of time. But depends on how many hungry people you have waiting for you, I guess. So I'll tip these into here in a moment. Can you see how they're just getting a nice? Some of them a bit browner than others, but they're just getting a nice colour. That one is quite brown. So before I add the zucchini, I'll turn the heat up on this a bit. Hot. You want to put eggplant into hot oil, otherwise it absorbs too much oil, okay? So you don't want it absorbing too much. You want to hear the sizzle. We do a lovely aubergine dish in our Moroccan class. It's called salted aubergines, honey salted aubergines. And we shallow fry the eggplant. We don't fry it, we shallow fry it so it goes a lovely golden colour. Thinner strips about half the width of that. And it's one of my absolute favourites because it's just the most luscious eggplant aubergine flavour. And um, then you pat it dry, take it out as it cooks. And when I say shallow fry, it sits in oil about that deep, so about that deep, so that the eggplant just bobbles along on the top. Gets a lovely golden colour. And um, then we take it out and we pat it dry, and then you gently caress it with your hands and you add some rock salt and some honey, a drizzle or two of honey from the honey twirler. About a tablespoon of honey, but it's definitely done by taste and it's done according to the taste of the person who cooks it. And it's just this lovely, lovely eggplant side dish, which when I describe it to people, they think, oh yes, oh yes, but when they eat it, they absolutely love it. So there's lots of lovely things that you can do with eggplant and aubergines. Here. Okay, so we've got some nice colour on these eggplants pieces, so I'll just, just top, toss them over 
pop them in my bowl there for the moment. And I'm going to add, that's all, I'll turn that up a little bit. We're now going to add our zucchini to this pot. These onions have done very nicely and we don't want them any browner for the moment. We'll add them all back in, in a minute, but I want the zucchinis to develop a bit of colour. Which we will get. And a little bit more oil in those. This is on the wok burner, that's why I've always got more sizzle and more heat. So this will develop some lovely colour. Beautiful. This is a very colourful dish. Lovely. And it's great with a dollop of um, fabulous the dollop, dollop of tapenade on it. We made tapenade in this series, an olive paste, olive pesto type paste. So I love it with a dollop of that on the top or a dollop of pesto, which we've also made in this series, doing a lovely Italian basil pesto, basil parsley pine nut pesto. You don't need those things, but I think they just add, finish it off very nicely. lovely and chewy and in fact the day after you make it is really really good because the flavours have developed and this also you can let the flavours develop and it will be delicious the next day but it will also be very nice it'll also be very nice the same day you make it it'll be fresh and if you want it crunchy um, it'll be beautiful the day you make it so, Oh, the, 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 the aroma is coming from, from those capsicums, it's just absolutely beautiful. If you wanted to add a green capsicum, that's perfectly fine. The yellow capsicum wasn't particularly expensive, and I, I love the look of the yellow in this, but you could, because there is green in the, um, in the zucchini, but if you wanted to add green capsicum, that's fine. So, as the word says, it's all messed up, all thrown in together. Which is actually not what I'm doing, but obviously what you can do. Okay, so I'm going to take these out in a minute and put them in with those. Oh, I'll put these in with these, probably. Well, this is a bit of a chance, so I'll put those in there. I'm going to put those back in there. And before I add the tomatoes, I am actually going to add my garlic to this pan. I know the pan's hot. So we'll toss it around very quickly and then add the tomatoes to make sure that the garlic doesn't burn. The garlic is 
cut up reasonably small. Can you see inside this pan, Michael? Okay. So, looking pretty. I'm going to add our onions back in and our egg from. And that is a really lovely, colourful dish, isn't it? And now we'll add our tomatoes. I might have all of these tomatoes. Oh, the aroma. The smell of the garlic and the onions. So just turn that down a little bit. I will put those tomatoes in to get some moisture. And by the time they've all cooked down, um, it'll be it'll be ready. And I don't think we'll need the tin of tomatoes today. I have a look at this. I think it may be okay. We'll just see as it, as it cooks on. Now, I'll pop in. teaspoon and a half of our oregano, right oregano. And you can see, as the name suggests, it is certainly all tossed around now and messed up. <laughs> and I'll put in some pepper. Now, if you particularly wanted crunchy, crunchy zucchini and crunchy capsicum, you could basically eat this now. I'm going to cook it for a little bit longer, only because I like it cooked down a little bit. But on a lovely summer's day, you could cook it like this and have that as a lovely, lovely warm salad. Um, served in a lovely dish would be very, very nice. But for the moment, I'm just going to let that sit and think about whether I may add a little bit of tomato, tin tomatoes. And I think I will, because it's winter. And these tomatoes, although they look very pretty and they've got a lovely colour, they may need a little bit more depthy tomato flavour. that sit for about 10 minutes and we'll come back and have a taste and serve it. Right, so we've cooked this down for about 10 minutes and as you can see it's looking lovely. The sauce has formed a little bit of sauce, it's not too wet and I will just season it. Now, if you look in here, you'll see how much of the tomato, tin tomatoes that I use, the diced tomatoes, about a third of the tin. And I will put some freshly ground pepper. And it will need um, a teaspoon or two, this is half a teaspoon of salt. And I did actually add a little bit of salt while this was cooking down, probably a teaspoon. So for me, I've put in at least two teaspoons of salt, uh, but you do it obviously to your taste. It is all about your taste. And I will just have a little taste to see if it's to my taste. <laughs> taste of the sauce. Mm. Oh, that is delicious. Lovely. Good. So, as I said, it's lovely as a vegetable. Lovely. I love it with steak, with chicken, veal, fish. Have it with lots of different things. With duck. Um, 
and um, and it is a very easy, quick uh, vegetable for you. And it can sit in the fridge for at least a day or two or three. Um, now I'm going to pop it in our serving dish here. Now, when I have this, uh, as I said, I would love a dollop of pesto. I wouldn't put it on the whole thing because people could suit themselves as to what they would like. And I'm just, oh, I'll put that back in there. I'm just going to wipe that with my cloth. Made not a very neat job today on that. And to finish it, I will just add some of my nice shredded basil. Torn. Torn. And there we have. And you can serve it either hot or cold. So, enjoy making your all messed up ratatouille, all your vegetables tossed in together. Bye bye for now.